All righty. I was told by the YouTube gods not to make this video. It's even more reason to make it. <laughs> and the reason for it is everybody makes a video on soil testing. This is gonna be a little different. First of all, my soil test is going to a lab that uses the, I'm gonna murder this word, but the Michelec, the Malek 3, Malek, Malek, Malek 3. Got it right, Malek 3. Keep that in your mind. You want a lab. You do not want a little kit that's dumped in some solution. You got a teaspoon of dirt to go out and give you suggested nutrients, products, fertilizers, whatever for your entire area of turf. A tablespoon is not going to do it for you. You need decent size testing to get what you need out here. So, first of all, I think the most important thing to say about a soil test is do not take a soil test if you have applied granular fertilizer. Do not, because then your results are going to be screwed up. They're going to be incorrect, because if you come out here and you drop N, P, and K, and then you pull those perils from the turf, from the top of the soil, and send them in, your soil will be I don't know what the word to use there, not contaminated, but basically it will con it will contain the prills. It will contain the fertilizer prills, therefore giving you incorrect results. The second most important thing I'm going to say on a soil test is pull your samples at six inches. Most of your labs will ask for a six inch soil sample. And as you can see, there's a hose clamp on here. That hose clamp has been on there since 2019, and I'm happy to see that I see some others doing the same thing now. That is marked at six inches. Use it for your advantage. And you can see that this probe is an AMS, American made. These guys are out in Idaho. Good fellas, good probe. I've had this since 2019. It's been amazing. It's got the, it's the 42 inch with the footstep on it and uh, works absolutely phenomenal. But step out, what you'll do is you're gonna walk, I do four different tests on this three acres of turf. I do a front yard test, I do a side yard test, I do a backyard test, and I do a one acre field test. And the reason for that is the front yard has had more love, more time, has grown turf longer. It's all native soil. The side yard has a little bit of field dirt. The backyard is nothing but field dirt. It reads totally different on um, CECs, totally different on uh, amounts of calcium. So it's a total different, it's treated totally, possibly different with what is put on it. The field, the one acre field, is the newest addition to my turf and um, it's had the least amount of love and it had a different pH. So, but anyway, you get out here, walk an X is what they tell you to do. Grab your six inch soil sample. Super easy with this probe. Give it a little twist. All right, I know I got a six inch soil sample. I'm gonna take this soil sample I'm not going to pick it clean. I'm not going to dry it. I'm not going to sift it. I'm not going to babysit it. I'm not going to manicure it. And you can see this bucket is busted. This is the bucket I always use. Clean, has not had anything in it other than the plastic it's made of. So it's not contaminated. I'm not going to sit here and grind these things all up. I'm not going to make this dirt pretty. I'm going to get enough dirt in here to put in this pouch and send off. I'm not gonna dry it, I'm not gonna sift it, I'm not going to pull everything out of here. Now, if I got a blade of grass, that'll come out of there. But the thing about it is, you're sending this to a professional lab. That professional lab has dryers, 
sifters. They have everything they need, grinders. They don't need you to babysit this. You're paying them the 30 bucks to do your soil test. You do not have to do all that. That's the reason I wanted to make this video. I see so many videos where people out there, they're grinding this all to pieces. They're sifting it. They're getting all the stuff out of it. Well, guess what? You're screwing up your results because the way they tell you the organics in this, how much OEM material is, they take this stuff, they weigh it. They cook it, they weigh it again, and they give you the amount of OEM, how much, what you got going on. So if you go and do all that, you're screwing yourself in the long run. Just get out there, get your samples. Definitely, if you don't pull a six inch core, pull a four inch and then note it. Note it that it's only four inches. If you go out in the yard and you pull a bunch of two inch cores, guess what? That's where all the good shit is. Up top, that's where all the good stuff is. That's where it's dark. That's where a lot of the fertilizer is laid, stuff of that nature. You want to get down where the roots are actually getting the nutrients from. You want a six inch soil sample. So that's my points to make. Walk in X, get you plenty. Take that stuff, put it right in your bucket. Send it off. Just like this. Send it off just like that. My recommendation is Earthworks for Home. The reason for it is this is done by a professional lab. This contains what you need. This is shipped to you. You got all your packaging in here. Heck, let's open it up. I gotta fill it up anyway. It's got your return label. And then you get an email when it's ready and you can print off the results. They also will help you. Doesn't mean you have to buy their fertilizer. They will tell you what's needed, but it doesn't mean you have to purchase it. But it comes with what you need. Cut your bag. Got your directions with your registration number. Got your return label. All of this is $29.95. <laughs> 30 bucks. But get your soil test done. And do it before you apply any fertilizer. Or before you guess at how much lime you need. Check your pH. See what's going on. Don't lie to yourself. All right. I need to get busy. All right. So I walked my X. I got all my cores. All my samples. You can see right here. Six inch. There it is. All my samples, see the amount that's in there. I'm not going to clean it, sift it, dry it, grind it. I'm just going to mail it. Send it straight out to these people. I am going to fill this out. Freak, Fescue Freak, location, front yard, description. It tells you right here how full to make the bag. Like I say, not going to grind, not going to sift, not going to babysit. I'm going to tell you now. I feel so much more confident having that much soil tested for the area that I'm working on than a teaspoon in some kind of liquid. Fold it up. And the birds is just singing. Wish I had some butterflies out here. Where's, where's some butterflies?
Let's go register it. Take it to the post office and tell it goodbye. Prepaid. Did you create your Earthworks for Home account? Yes, I did. Y'all have a great day. Best you freak out. <laughs>